G'day, g'day. That's your cue, my friend, Mr. Wesley. When you count down five, well, four, I only, three. I only heard you say two. I was two, waiting for the because, one. <laughs> yes, because w when, you're, when you're doing movies and, and theatre and stuff like that, mate, you never count the one, otherwise it picks it up on the microphone. Oh, anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, hello and welcome to Formula 4, race number three. It says season three. Is it season three already? I think it might be two, but we'll take it. Uh, for 220, no, it's 215 minute races, as always, with the Formula... Four series back again at the full circuit of Suzuka this season. I'm pretty certain it may have just done the West one last season. So big time for the Formula Four championship tonight. Of course, Formula Three later with two 20 minute sessions also on the full Suzuka layout. It's fun track to do. They're currently in qualifying, which is lone qualifying, unlike the Grand Jeep T3 series, which is open. So it's uh, lone qualifying. They get two laps to get. The time on the board we do see a few issues sometimes where people get off tracks and things like that and some cuts which can happen here and there possibly might happen here you can go a bit wide in these cars they're very light cars but yeah um as you heard i'm joined by biggles tonight for the formula 4 and formula 3 series yes so you are g'day g'day everybody uh, just stepping in at the moment brody you can't make it unfortunately he's not feeling the best I'll be a producer as well here this evening, so if uh, just let us know, please. Let, oh, this is what nobody let nobody let me know yesterday, mate, for the uh, F1 mm. stream. Nobody told me yeah. that the YouTube player was playing in the background, so it was double echoing. Um, because <laughs> there's nobody in chat. So it, if we're muted the whole time, guys, and you don't tell us. That's, uh, yep. that's that's yep. that's 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 going to make us look like fools, and <laughs> yeah. you're not going to have any casting. So. If you do it, if you do know anything, please let us know. Anyway, mate, we've got some new little graphics overlay. So finally, now, uh, we can actually see the... I added this just before. We can see what driver we're on at the moment. So we're currently on Leon. But let's go to Dennis. I'll get the right camera angle as well. Not that one. There it is. There's Dennis Gallo, I think it is. The German driver on uh, his first flying lap. We uh, are we sure in the right same room name? Ah, uh, oh, should be. Are we in qualifying at the moment? We're in qualifying, but I'm not seeing what you're saying. So <laughs> really, uh. Who do you have for the drivers? I definitely have, I think, the same. Ooh. Who did you say a second ago? Dennis. Yeah, I've got Dennis. I'm just not on, on with them. No uh, graphics I'm talking about on there for me. So, Aiden, Leon, Paulo, Andy, William? Yep, these are all names I'm seeing, yep. Okay, well, how come you're not seeing them on board? You got the uh, overlay? Ooh. Interesting. Paulo right now, I'm on with. You uh, might need the camera pack too, my friend. Ooh, I'm using a different have... camera pack. Oh, you are? Okay, so I see. But you see the overlay in the bottom left-hand corner. It says Paulo Lopez. I'm not having that, sadly. I don't know what you're seeing. No. Maybe. Are you seeing any of the overlays? Uh, I'm seeing the standard old one, Jess. Oh, okay. I see why you don't have the new file. Oops. Yeah, my bad. Bad luck, yeah. <laughs> that would explain it. I wouldn't worry about it too much, mate. You, as long as you yeah. can still see everybody where they are, it's fine. Absolutely. It's all right. It's just for the other extra fancy stuff. But anyway, sorry about that, guys. This last minute, let's have a look at the gap at the moment there from the qualifying. So there's only a couple of minutes left, mate. We've only got two drivers that have actually put a time in. So there must be a lot of off-track excursion, excursions. Yeah, I think that might be a big thing. Yeah, it's a big track as well, quite long for these cars, so about two minutes. So it will take a while to get some laps in. So if people didn't go out straight away, they might suffer not being able to get both their times on the board. Which, not the biggest field in the world, so it may not be the worst thing today by missing out, I must admit. But... Yeah, people are definitely not going to get times in. Who have I just seen get a time in? Samuel's got one in, so it's three cars have got times in so far. It does look like it's not lots of cars out there as well. 
So I try and find the standard cameras. Here we go. Where's Leon? Leon's close. Yeah, let's to have a look at Leon. Line, he? Yes, he is. And Derek Bank crosses the line there, and Leon actually gets a two But then again, have a look at this two oh three point two oh three flat from Andy. Liam Kerr's on a flyer, so let's go back to the uh, my Aussie boy from Automotive Racing in the Red Bull livery. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. Let's see if he got a purple there. Williams also got a purple. What's Liam going to do as he crosses the line? Is that an off track? No, he bang up the top of the timesheet. It's a two oh two, and let's see whether or not Williams could, will you William can knock him, dethrone him, because there's not going to be enough time. That's it. Williams, the only one left. The Texan. Can he take it from... Can he, can he out barbecue the Australian of Liam? That's going to be the key, isn't it? There'll be no great barbecues oh, in Texas. Oh, it's a little... Up. Yeah, yes. it might have cost him the time. Carlos has start, started flying lap. Liam's gone for another one. Is he going to get to the line? I don't think they can. It's eight oh, minutes. Qualifying's oh, over. Oh, they are on a lap, so they could. Did, no, they won't. Did William, no, no, I don't think William got that lap in either. No, he didn't. He did not at all. So let's have a look at the grid, my friend. Ooh, the grid, the grid, the grid. So who we got? Where? We have got... So on pole, Liam Kerr takes it. Just from Paulo in P2. Only three tenths, nearly four. Five tenths back is Andy in third. About a second back is Aiden. Carlos is in P5. Leon P6. Samuel P7. William and Dennis P8 and P9 without times. So they're going to start gridding up. So can you explain to everybody out there, and including myself, because I haven't done this in a while, what the the ske schedules are? Because we have F3 and F4s. These are the F3s at the moment, I believe, as you said. The, the, um, these are the F4s. These are the F4s. And then we do what sort of racing here? We have a couple of races. So we do two races of 15 minutes here for these guys. And then straight after them, we go and watch the... Formula Freeze, which have two races of 20 minutes. That's how it goes, as well as a, a qualifying, a lone qualifying, just like the Formula 4s had then. All right. Excellent. So this is Heat 1, of course. So lap 1 of 50 in the Heat. Is it a, is it a uh, lapped or timed? Uh, it's timed. So oh, it's, it's timed. 15 minutes. They, it reckons they will get eight laps in. What the compute, fancy computers believe is going to happen here? Ada, Ada, how much time? Are you going to get ready to call a start, my friend? Should we go green flag in a second? Yeah, 15 minutes. So here we go. Lights are coming on. We've had our five. I'm going to be away for 15 minutes of Suzuka. On their way, Liv immediately covers the inside. That's well done. It's filled, spread quite wide. Immediately at the back, they've gone free wide. They're all going to sort themselves out. Liam will lead into turn one. Everyone seems brief. Okay, Samuel's fine. Everybody everybody in the pink car's fine as well. Carlos there, I believe it is. In the pink car, side by side, just ahead of him. A little bit of a wiggle from car number 10, but he's okay. Aiden's fine. And they seem like they're going to sort themselves out. Carlos will fall behind Aiden. And that's a good start. Everybody's clean. The top three, you've got a little bit of a gap, I must say. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> yeah, uh, iRacing's got some pretty bad audio, unfortunately. Aside from that, it's pretty good. It's got good driving, but uh, yeah, the audio can really go up and down drastically. But so far, Williams had a great start, mate. He's gained four positions up at a P4. Everybody else is pretty much safe. Aiden's lost the place. Carlos lost the place. Dennis gained one, and Leon has lost three off the start there. I wonder what happened to Leon if we get a chance to go back to the replay. But have a look at Paulo under a bit of pressure there from the Brit of Andy. Andy had a little look there. Didn't have the best of luck last week, I must admit. I think he had got caught up in a few incidents. But a few less cars than last week at the uh, Fuji circuit. And yeah, there was uh, a few incidents here and there. But and he's touched oh! the grass. He's going to go around. Yep. Saved it pretty well. But that's a lot of time lost there. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a casting curse right there. That's a, a, well, that is a camera casting curse. There it is. <laughs> so I went on board with him and he's fine. Look at the back here. Oh, immediately that's cuts a, Leon Yeah, off. as he come back on, Leon. Uh, he does get, Leon must manage to get ahead of him. So, early action already. Let's go back up to the further of the field here. Aiden, the young, uh, the number 10 car. From the U US of A. Um, oh, Andy spun. Yeah. Andy spun in the background again. He's round. Did he? Ah. Uh, on the way Just into not having again. a great day today, is he? <laughs> no, his, his tyres are probably going to be cut now. 
How about Samuel, my friend? Mexicano. Down the main straight. Look at that livery that he has. That's yeah, pretty wild. Him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's uh, versing the old Renault there. Livery. That's the Renault livery there of Carlos. Of course, probably wanting to do the the, cut, the winning car, of course, that his uh, fellow Spaniard, Fernando Alonso, won a race season with. Couple of front limbs, got a nice gap. Liam did really well last week, actually pulled quite a big gap at Fuji, so I do expect him to just get, a, get away with it. Paul, right, uh, to be fair, P2 is not uh, no slouch, so he might not run away with this one, the same with William, but he's got a gap at the moment. It's the closest battle is for P6, and it's a little look, but not enough. And off there goes the red oak. Oh, he's not oh. making that corner. Samuel's in the wall. He's getting out of it now, but he's, he's gone just too deep. And I feel, did he hit the wall? He may have got away with we'll it. We'll have a look but... at the replay. Coming up right now. As I was fortunately changing the camera at the last minute. And was it a tap? Why did it just, uh, yeah, he's just gone too deep there. But he did save it. Yeah, a little, little tap. Yeah. Back to the living action. Andy as well has had a crash. I think that's what we had before, wasn't it? The spin there from Andy it was. That was the second spin. So there it is. But uh, Paulo Lopez at the moment starting to catch our race leader of Liam. Slowly but steadily drawing him in. Well, he has to as well too because he's got Mr. William for uh, him, all the yeah. back of him. Yep, let's have a look. Hopefully no one touches the grass or the white line into the chicane this time. They've closed a little bit on Liam, top three, pulling away, but pretty close. Slipstream should be quite effective down here, down these straights. We'll see if William can get a run into turn one. No, no run just yet. The field behind Leading out a little bit, a few mistakes creeping in, so allowing some free to spread, but top three pretty close at the moment. Still with 11 minutes to go in this race, of course. Race two, they have the top eight reversed, and well, there's only nine cars here, so most of the field will be reversed. So whoever finished last here will still be last on the next one, but P8 will get pole. Okay, so it's the top eight that's that, that reversed, just to let yes. everybody else know. Pretty sure that about most of the people that are watching will be watching this one back later will, later will be the drivers, so pretty sure they're aware of it. Yeah, if you didn't, if you didn't get reversed, you did finish P9 in this race. So unfortunate for you, if you wondered why. And oh, oh, William was scraping on the curb there. I could hear his car. I thought he was going to do what Samuel did last lap and go straight on, but no, he survives for now. Leon's close to Dennis, but not as close as William is to P2. And so the F4 drivers, F3 drivers, sorry, because he's the F4s, will also be doing their warm-ups and racing warm-up at the moment, getting ready, of course, for their race will be coming up after our second. Well, this is the Heat 1, of course, for the F3s. And then we'll have the Heat 2s, right? Or the main race. How does that pan? Is it Heat 1, Heat 2? Uh, yeah, they're somewhat called yeah. Heat 1, Heat 2. Especially okay. on the um, on the uh, iRacing thing, they call that Heat 1 in uh, feature. But yeah, it's realistically, you can call it Heat 1, Heat 2, or Race 1, Race 2, either way. They class it as a round, uh, do the series. So it's technically two races within a round. But uh, I'm not sure how the points work exactly. I think it's... If I'm not wrong, I feel like they only do 10 points for a win and so on. I think it's quite a lot less than the GT3 series, which has its completely own point system. Top three here, very close now. Three or four tenths between each car. Yeah, I'm going so. on board with the gearbox there of Liam just to see. Paulo in the background and William, that's P2 and P3. So can the Aussie hold them off? We're about, we've still got, it's getting close to about halfway through this heat race at the moment because it's six minutes into 15 minutes. It looks like he got a little bit deep there. I think Apollo got a better exit there, didn't he? For sure. It looked like the Portuguese driver. Yeah, there's a big gap now spread there. Yeah, he's managed to... Obviously, it must have been a mistake from William as he's just dropped off a bit. A few times off there. We'll pull up the sector Sam. times for you to keep an eye on it. You can see there, Apollo Lopez definitely has uh, shaved a little bit of time here. Fastest lap is going the way of Paulo as well, looking at it on that last lap as well. So they are putting some quick lap times in at the moment, I must say. Oh, and then almost did of a mistake. Caught on the curb there, I think he was. Just trying to find the right camera. 
Carlos has jumped to the pit, so I think Carlos must have gone off. And Carlos might be out now in P9. Yeah, jumped into the pits. There was an overtake back there for P6, and that's because oh, of his drop oh. back. Yes, I've just had a... Oh, yes, that was a big one for Carlos. He, uh, what was it? In the first sector, he uh, went oh, a bit wide. Let's have a look at the replay, then. Let's oh, check that one. Yeah, go on. Let's we'll watch it. It's Liam oh, a actually, no, no. I'm Liam's going back to still having a moment. Oh, he's kept the lead. He had, like, four <laughs> moments within one corner. Kept it all on the road, but he lost so much momentum as he moves to the left. Oh, right. yeah. He could be in trouble here. Um, Oh, we're going to go side by side through 130 R. That's a guarantee here. Neither one of these are going to back out. After I watched them last week, neither one's going to. And they don't. Oh, oh. they fell. There goes Liam. Round he goes. That is a crash. He is out of this race. That's a big one. Wow. I wonder if he's going to be a happy camper or not. But there it is. It's all smashed. As uh, Gunton Sando, he, go. he smashed the car. And let's have a look at the replay of that one, mate. Uh, we'll go half time to see. Exactly the dilemma for the Australian driver. That's actually Carlos before that. Oh, he's had, he had that. four, uh, three, to, three or four moments there in the turn before, trying to save the rear of the car from spinning. And then, obviously, Paulo comes up his inside. Fair enough, completely. You can guarantee they were both going to... He's tried to squeeze him into one for AR, but he gives him room on the exit, and they've just... Of course, yeah. Paulo's ran wide, as you would, through carrying that much speed, and... Well, Liam's yeah. got absolutely And this is uh, earlier, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. Exactly. Because he went off and that's what... It's kind of... Been... He made it a little crucial mistake losing that time. Of course, there's nothing... Yeah. Polo's definitely going to go for it. But what about that? Do you think he could have committed to the outside? That's an interesting one. Yeah, you can guarantee he was always going to. But you could ask yourself, was it... What, would Should he have backed off? Was it whose corner was it? Was it Polo's as he was on the inside? Liam was on the racing line. There's always the debate in racing there. But yeah, you're going you're gonna to have... One of you has to back off, clearly. It didn't work, the two of them. So um, there'll be a discussion about that one, probably, if it was a racing incident or not. But you could argue, Paul would be arguing that it is. It was his entitled corner from his view. But Liam was going to say that he deserved more space. And that's, yeah. But you, you know the good why. thing about that now, perhaps, is that he gets to start in pole for the next race. Yep, I'm sure you won't be thinking about that right now. But yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, you should be happy. But yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be excited to see them two come uh, if they if they uh, start racing together side by side in the next round. There might be some uh, fumes there, some uh, upset dingoes, perhaps. I'm not quite sure from Liam, but William at the moment he's tucked up there behind Paulo, so now he's a chance to try to do something about the Portuguese driver. Who? Uh, yeah, there's also Liam's probably going to be also. I know Liam. He he he, be, he beats himself up a little bit from the F1 as well too, because you know he's seen race wins slip between his fingers, and he uh, you know feel he he really yeah. Once again, he beats himself up, and in this case, I'm sure he he probably got to beat himself up more the fact that he ran wide there, and, and that's what allowed Paulo to put that opportunity in. Because if he didn't run wide, run wide, mate, he probably could have held them off with the pace that he had. Yeah, he touched the curb yeah. on the way in. It unsettled the car, and he had to catch it another two to three times in the continuing of the corner and spoon. But yeah, um, so yeah, he'd be annoyed by that. But yeah, he will be arguing, asking himself, did he have to fight that hard, or could he have just let him go? And then you know, there's still another five minutes in this race. It's true, he isn't it? Yeah. Would have had another chance probably to come back at him. But uh, yeah. Could have been that frustration of losing the lead after doing such a great job there, getting it, and then, you know, it all went pole-shaped after that. Because he got the qualifying, he had a good launch off the start there, he was control in control of the race. If you are right there in the chat there, Liam, let us know. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you're probably just uh, chilling out there, getting ready for, for the next heat. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to be cussing tonight. I did not do any of my warm-up exercises, so that's why I'm confumbling on my word. My coach always tells me, and you should always do it, you do up you warm-up exercises before you cast, and you won't be fumbling your words like I am right now. William's getting pretty close, mate. Oh, do you know what I was doing before, um, before this? I was trying to work out why my washers on the Rallycross car weren't working. And I can tell you now, I spent the whole day ripping the wires apart, and I'm still not there yet, so I'm going to order a new wire in Oh, you mean... Um, a real what, rally car? But oh, we'll, we'll oh fully, fully, yeah. yeah. Fully real. As, uh, really? Here goes... Oh, yeah, fully. William is going to go for the same move now on the outside of 130. Oh, you watch Liam fail it. Is he going to get it? Oh, they've done it fine. They've survived. There you go. Well, that's going to be proof in the uh, stewards room, that one for Paulo. That yeah. I can go side by side through there. Um, 
Yes, so that's probably not going to help Liam's case a little bit. As Carlos, I think, has he come out of the pit? If he, it'd be funny if he did. No, it was my boy. He'd come out of the pit to try and nick pole for the next race off of Liam. Um, that would have been quite a tactic there. As William now again will try to get Paul oh, over yep. turn one. Let's go back to that one. And to the outside. No way is he doing that. It's like a center type move. Oh, he's going to do it. He's not. Oh, he's going to run out of road. He's going to be there for the next turn. He's on the inside. His front wing's there. Oh, he's at the back out of it. Just. Oh, I thought he had that for a second. For a split second, I thought he'd taken the lead around the outside of turn one. Andy has crashed from P6, but he's a long way from anybody. So that is a spin on his own, I'd assume, there. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't near anybody. He's, he's really been struggling with that car this evening. Still in, it was still in, was in the race. Uh, we'll, we'll check the replay in a second if we can, because there's only a couple minutes left of our first heat race, and uh, there's two battles currently you can see on the track there. That's Paulo and William, and then oh, we also... Oh, it's a mistake from both of the leaders. Yeah. Oof. They've both kept it on the road, but William's now trying to wiggle his steering wheel, correct? Has he had a massive lock-up and nearly dropped it, and Paulo nearly went round. He's probably just dropped his chance there of perhaps winning, getting a race win here. For the back there, Dennis is thinking right now, the German driver, about Aiden up the road. And he's pretty close. He's got an interesting line from Aiden there. Just goes wide and then cuts in. Dennis is sticking to the tighter line instead. To go for a spoon. That's deep, we would say, from Aiden, but he got away with it. He doesn't seem to have an unsettled rear end there. Keeps it on good stuff and Dennis just a little bit too far back to think about doing anything yet but I do think they're going to go on to the final lap this time round so it's everybody's last chances are starting to creep in yeah we'll go back Ooh, we'll have a look at Andy's crash in a bit I don't want to I don't want to miss any of this action that's a move that's a move from long back from Dennis everybody keeps it fine uh, Aiden saw him coming that was a I didn't think Dennis even had a half chance there, but he, he found one. He's very close now down the main straight. He could have a good run here. He's, yep, Aiden sees him. He's defended all the way to the pit wall. White flags out. So the outside goes Dennis. And what? he's not making that one. Was the white flag called? Yeah, white flag definitely, yeah. I didn't see the guy, and I don't have the messages from race control, but should be. I don't know, because I, I thought uh, Polo got across the line before. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he's got, yeah, but yeah. the time's run out now, so when okay. he gets around, it'll be the, it'll be the flag. It's a slide from Dennis, and Dennis just does have a good chance. He does seem a bit more confident on the brakes than and, Aiden. Yeah, Andy's had another crash as well, but he's still on the track somewhere. But this is it. The last chance that Dennis is going to have if he wants to get this crucial couple of points here for the first heat. And the beauty of it, and a reverse grid, they're going to be starting side by side in the next round. Start will matter, of course, and that's a look, but nothing more than that from Dennis there into the hairpin. Well behaved through there. Yep, now we're coming up to. Oh, you're going to be coming up to Spoon soon. Now you can get a good. If you get a good launch out of Spoon, you got that nice straight away. To cross over the uh, figure eight part of the track, and then you've really got another little kink in your. Yeah, the, yeah, the, um, the Casio. Final Casio corner to try to do any last minute thing before you cross the line. He's, he's around. He could, did get a good exit here, mate. Uh, I think he needed to be more in the slipstream for longer. He's not. He's got. He's just going to. I know what he's doing. He's going to go up the inside of the chicane. Here we go. Watch, ready. A little bit of a lift. There's a defense there, but is he going to try and find the inside? Is he going to have to stick to the outside? He sticks to the outside. Long way round. Oh, that's contact. A little bit of a touch, and there goes Aiden. Spins round. 360 as it gets about Ooh. going into fourth, but yeah, Dennis waits for him. Dennis has waited. He's going to give it back to Aiden. I think he is too. He did yeah, actually. He did. That's very good sportsmanship. He says, "My bad, my bad," and gave it back. That's very, very great sportsmanship. We'd like to see that. Well, I wonder. Did he? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Have or did he? Or did he get a? Uh, a you know. No, a, he, he, yeah, he's definitely yeah. been sportsmanship and giving it back there. But I'm just gonna. I want to see if I would have or not. Would that have, would I have decided that I, well, he's a long way, yeah, no, yeah, he did. Yeah, he got, well, he, he outbraked him fairly, but then he also definitely chopped him off on the apex of the corner. So that's fair from Dennis to give that back. That's, that's nice. 
Yeah, just waiting for the results to come up at the moment. In a second there from that. Polo did win the race. So sorry, Polo, we missed you crossing the line because of that action that happened behind you. But, mate, you get a second chance to get another race win if you want. Race results are in, mate. We've got to go through that. Oop, I don't know why it sent me to a replay, but race, race results. Actually, the gritty, gritting results there, Phil. Oh, this, yes. Ah, what oh, do you want? The gritting no. or race results? It's not. Because it's basically the same. What do you want? Grid? There's the results. Results. So, Paul does take the win in the first race today. William takes P2, Dennis P3. Leon ends up P4. Andy takes P5 after spinning loads of times. Actually, Aiden did get some time penalty and it put him P7 in the end, sadly. Gave him big time penalty. And P8 for Liam, which puts him on pole for the next one. And Carlos P9. So Aiden, we said he was being sportsmanship. He lost P4 and ended up P7 in the end anyway. Uh, the grid then. Liam takes pole. Aiden now will take second because of that. Samuel will take P3 and Tatman P4. Leon P5. Dennis P6. William P7, Paulo P8, Carlos P9, and they are away for race number two of the day. And it's a good start immediately. Liam covers it off again, straight to the inside. I would absolutely know that, but Aiden looks to the outside. Doesn't get it. Leon goes into third. Just behind past Samuel. Oh, there might have been contact, but Liam's gone wide, gone deep, and Aiden's through. Leon's through. There's a spin in the background, and yep. there goes William. He's been shoved off and Dennis was involved. Dennis has lost his front wing. I think Carlos, did he get away with it? I think he just about did. I think Paulo had a little bit of play in that in the end. But I would say everyone survived. But William hasn't and nor has Dennis. But the leader is Aiden. Yeah, kerfuffling already, isn't it, at the start? Dennis is out completely. Yeah, Dennis is out. He lost his front wing. He's probably found the wall as well. And that's his race two, done and dusted. He did end up getting... At least a P3 in that last one. Liam is all over the back of Leon. I'm not sure what happened. I think him and uh, Aiden may have banged wheels in turn two. And it forced Liam a little wide. And now he tries to cut back on Leon. Did he touch him on the exit there? It was very, very close. He did. Try and get a run. Good run here. Good slipstream. I think he should weigh the corner. He's going to the outside. He's had some time to cool down after his crash. But he's already passed Leon. He's out breaks around the outside into Spoon and back into P2 he goes. Whoa. Oh, he's struggling with that car. Wow. Yeah, there's damage on the front wing of Paula, which if he doesn't know, he'll find out in 130R. Leon then get a good run, good slipstream on the back of Liam, looks to the outside, Liam covers it, and Tapman looks up the inside of both. He's going to do that though. And he doesn't. Everybody survives 130R for the first time. Everybody is through. Uh, but William oh. and Dennis are out. Leon, Liam's missed his brakes there. There's no way he's making that corner. There he goes across. He's in the yeah. lead, but he's back to P2. Definitely didn't gain any time from that. He's exactly where he was before the corner. Uh, just probably a bit... Well, he's worse off, actually, as everybody's going to go streaming past now. Leon's through. Andy's through. I wonder if he had a slowdown. I think well. he has so to have a slowdown, mate, because of that corner yeah. cut, for sure. And everybody's lost. He's last now in the pack. That's oh, oh Leon! Andy. Oh, that's a fantastic save. Yeah. Held the brakes. Keeps Absolutely the brilliant. Go. That's what you do. So you do in a real drive car. It starts to go slightly brake, but he's nailed that. Instead of slamming the brakes, he's just he's just ever so slightly nudged them, and it's brought the car back under his control. Bound a P3. Liam's dropped back Liam. again. Look at this. Now he's trying to challenge Carlos. Around the outside of the pink car. That's not going to happen there. He's going to be a bit frustrated because... He's now at the back again. Oh, he's got a good run. He's going to touch him. He's got a very good run. There's no way through there, Liam. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer at least. He's all over the road trying to find out. Oh, oh, he's, he's forced Carlos into a mistake. Uh, I hope they didn't touch. I don't think they did. And full 360 for Carlos. I do not believe they touched. I think Carlos just got so much pressure on him there and he bumped over the curbs. Uh, just Oh, they might who, who was that? Is that for when Carlos had a spin? Yeah, well, there might have been slight contact after he had spun, but Liam, where's Liam's in the pits? Yeah, jumped in the pit lane, so Dennis is in there. But look at this battle at the moment, P1, P2 and P3. Leon's pretty pacey, the 77 car. I'm back live, I can't find, why can't I find Liam? 
Uh, the Leon even. There's Leon. What the happened to him then? He's out. Dennis is back out now after the fixing the damage. But yet yeah, top three very, very close. And that's uh, Dagon from back to worse for Liam now being out in the second one as well as the first. A bit of frustration kick. Okay, creeping in there for the Australian driver. With two not so good results this evening. But still got a bit of time as long as you can get out there and try to do it. Because we've seen, uh, you know, a few little incidents already. So I always yeah. say you got to commit to it. Or is he completely out, out? Oh, I'd say he always out. Oh, no, he's, he's out. Now, he's now a lap down. I'm intrigued as to why. He, has, he did say that he crashed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to pull it up real quick, but I still want to miss it. Well, I'll go back to it in a second if we can. Because Leon, get, Leon is getting very, very close in the back of Andy. Yeah, he's almost setting Andy up here, it looks like, doesn't it? Uh, yep. The way he's driving compared. Andy seems slightly off the line compared to Leon is on it. And he's got a better exit, but I'd say, wait, there's no chance of a pass into here. It's as close as he is. It's almost like a death lunge. It's just not going to work out here at all. That curve on the inside will spin you round. Yeah, he's got the nice uh, anti-stall livery there. They're actually still keeping Aiden at play. So Aiden's not oh. pulling away from him as, as they battle. In fact, if anything, they're probably gaining on... And will that bring Samuel to the background? I think it will, Samuel. Domika yeah, can, can, that, can yeah. join, yeah, because it's like, okay, go battle all you, all you like, my friend, because the Spain is going to be catching this and turning into a four-way battle soon. And we now Paulo yeah, Lopez has pace, so Paulo Lopez can keep, keep putting in some banking laps. While these guys battle yeah, it out, he can join. Yeah, he a bit of damage. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah from, the, from the lap one where he, he was one of the cars that could not avoid uh, William, I believe. So he has got a bit of wing damage, but he's doing well with the pace he's got, but just a little bit road to fair. But if they do battle too hard, yeah, he'll be there. Look at this. Look at this now. Oh, Andy felt the need just to make a little movement there in the straight line, just so Leon knows not to think about it. Andy might get a run here. Look how close they are. Somebody's going to look for a run. There you go, Andy, to the outside. Oh. They've touched wheels. Everybody get through the chicane. To the Cassio oh, section. Right. Exactly. That's, that's bold and brave. But they, you know, I, I think that might have been a little bit of repetition, isn't it, when we saw Liam, unfortunately, just lock a brake there and, and go straight through, and we did see a bit of a tangling. Plenty of time to go, guys. So still have another about 11 minutes or so, at least up your sleeve. Yeah, another 11 minutes, another at least at least another five laps of this, and it's very very close. They've all got pretty even lap times, I must admit. Uh, the last lap as well, I'd say Leon's lapping. Well, Leon, Leon, Leon just did his best time, but Andy does have the fastest lap of this race. So, that's the notes. So the leader's not the quickest of the three of them. Looking at the times, but he is, of course, the car in front. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on Paulo Lopez as well, too. Four, he's four seconds off Samuel, so he's not, as you said, that damage might have hurt him enough, probably a little bit too much to be able to shave a little bit of time per lap off these guys up the road. And he is driving defensive in some corners. He knows where Leon's having a look, and he is driving a little bit in his mirrors. That might be stopping him from launching an attack on Aiden. You can see those sector times as well, too. Pretty much nothing between them. They're just exchanging sector times like a Bitcoin exchange at the moment. They really fight these cars, don't they? They're not the easiest. Yeah, they're so light. The, the rear is really light on these cars. You just put a little bit too much steering angle in and the rear wants to overtake you. It looks like a fun drive, but yeah, very tentative, I'd say. Especially for a corner like this as Andy goes wide, keeps his foot in, stays second, does he? think about a move is he defending what's going on here everybody stays oh. as they were it's gonna hurt you, hurt you back a little bit and eat those chicanes as those things flies as you said it's a very light car but look at that one two three line of stone again samuel's not quite catching as quickly as what i thought he would be he's 1.4 down the road but you never know a little slip up from these guys right now samuel's right up there on the podium look at them, look at them just concertina up they're all yeah, it's going to be difficult to be fair for Samuel to catch as they are getting obviously slipstream off each other and as a little group they're just keeping each other in. As long as they don't battle too much in the corners, they're actually they might actually pull away from Samuel with the slipstream, uh, like a train just 
sort of pushing each other along. Um, they all basically nearly did identical lap times on that one. Again, Aiden was actually the slowest out of the three. But again, still the lead car, and that's the part that matters. Yes. That's still the same situation. Dennis is the quickest on the track, but just really is about a minute and change down the road. Just had yep. a 2.03.6, 2.03.7 from Carlos. But yeah, the damage from Paulo. Paulo did a 2.04, 2.05.18. Yeah, Paulo Lopez is just, the, the damage is not enough for him to do anything about this, about this party up the road. Although still putting some pretty impressive laps, you'd have to say, with the damage he has. I think for a quick second, we might go back and have a look at that Liam Kirk crash. Oh, who's run wide? Leon That's Leon. Has a moment. He did the same thing with the brakes again. Brought it the front round, back round. Oh, so and, really well Sa it. and Samuel almost lost it there. And Samuel probably got a little excited, didn't he, knowing that Leon made a yeah. mistake and got ready to pounce, and then unfortunately he made a little error himself. It's very Next interesting. Pressure off Andy for now. He'll be happy with that. He can now focus on Aiden. Leon won't take too long to get back on these two with a little bit of help from the they're street. not giving me a chance to go to that replay mate they're just so they're like no no, no biggles no no you're not gonna see liam's replay it's not gonna happen do but, we oh i don't know we have time no <laughs> maybe no there's oh, no, four attempts yes this is too close it could be an overtake every time i change that camera mate something happens you see paulo lopez in the background actually down the main street believe it or not but yeah no every time i change the camera mate i'm gonna miss it so the good thing is we do have replays We'll be able to see it just before we have to skip over to the Formula 3 paddock. So how's your rally car? You actually literally own a rally car? Uh, yeah, rally cross car, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I thought you were just talking about a sim. No, yeah, I was huh. racing at the weekend. You do a bit of electrical uh, wiring? Ah, uh, well, I'm having <laughs> to redo all of the, uh, the wipers as it got a bit dirty oh, yeah. and I couldn't see where I was D going. Don't, don't do what I did years ago when I was working on my car. And I accidentally t I had to take the windscreen wipers off, believe it or not, yes. because you couldn't open up the, 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 the bonnet. And uh, I accidentally forgot to put one back in. I, 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 put it, I rested it, uh, I think, in the, on, in the engine bay area somewhere. And it ended up getting caught in the steering arm. So when I was on the highway, and I was traveling about 100 kilometers down on, on, the, on the highway, as I was living out of town, in that small town, and I was turning the steering wheel to go to turn right, that was fine. But I couldn't turn it back left. Wow. Luckily, on, I didn't panic. I just it eased the accelerator off and you know, applied the brake and just eased the accelerator off so the car would slowly run off the uh, road a little bit, but not. And it's oh! oh, Kind of like that. He's got his steering wheel. Yeah. His steering jammed. He did well to hold that, but Leon is going through. Well, maybe. Actually, we're going to have another side by side through 130R. Here we go again. What's the outcome on this one? Place your bets now. And he touched the grass on the way in. Leon goes a bit deep. They both survived though. But Leon is through. Mm. Yeah. Andy outbreaks him though. I don't think he's doing that. Aiden's going to love so. seeing that. His rear view mirror is going, all right, now I've got a bit of breathing space finally. As these two top yeah. guns go for it. Like Samuel still can't do anything second. about it. One second down the road, you can see Samuel in the background. I wonder if Samuel's just like still going, come on, just commit to it, mate. Three minutes to go. Paul Lopez is just seeing that battle as he's start, about to start his lap. Still sticking with it, but he can't do anything too much about it. All right. I, cool. Oh, no, Leon's round by Leon. Yep. There he goes. And he's now dropped by Samuel. He doesn't hit the wall. The, uh, I think he caught the curve on the exit of turns one there, and he's actually fallen behind. Paulo Lopez, Ooh, well. yeah, that's what yeah. I like. Paulo Lopez can lead to it because he's just he's just got a free point, eh? A free couple of points, essentially, after winning the first race as well. That's crucial for him to to, to win, probably the maybe the whole weekend. I'm not sure. That's going to be close and very for sure. But uh, yeah, what happened to Carlos? Let's go back in that and let's have a look on board. If we can. Oh, that's Carlos. Carlos. Carlos has crashed as well. When did Carlos crash? Right, see. Oh, is that an unusual place to lose it? Well, we'll go back to Leon going off track somewhere. And let's have a look at that situation on board with Leon. There. Ooh. He didn't get contact, right? That was just too much no, on the, on the just, loud pedal. Too much curb and, yeah. and loud pedal at the same time. And yeah, around he goes. Why I can't Leon's scroll. Crash. Let's go back to Leon's crash, yeah. 
Did he go on board of Liam's crash, I guess? Oh, oh, that was contact. Yeah, so he did definitely touch Carlos once he was already spinning. Yeah, it says so Carlos crashed. Now, Let's have a look. Damage. Carlos crashed, and Leon was just in the wrong place at the wrong time on that one, I'd say. Let's have a look. So... Yeah. See, Carlo, yeah, Carlos had, had had the bump made him made the rear spin around, and then uh, yep. fortunately, Liam, but Liam didn't quite crash completely, so I wonder why he was no. in retirement. So he then spun at the hairpin on his own and then retired. So I assume he feels there was some damage that he could prepare. Samuel's now had a crash from P3. Apparently, I'm not sure what he's done. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at the replay. Of what happened here? This is Samuel. Now remember, he was hanging behind this whole pack for some time and what's he going too deep here let's have a look oh, he did flick yeah. up a bit of grass what's this into oh he's just got he's gone straight through there yeah he's he's done what he's done is he's then done the, the other chicane instead as well he's um he kept going there's no yeah. big damage he's still in a third which is nice but yeah said he crashed but yeah he just missed the, missed the uh, chicane and ended up doing the uh, other one no time gained. Lots of action on the oh, last lap, mate. Lots of action on the last lap. Yeah. So Andy now, his last opportunity to do anything about Aiden. Looks to steal this one away. Yeah, Aiden, after the disappointment of race one where he put in P7 instead of four for a penalty, is now leading race two here. It has been for the whole race. On a little margin, I'd say. He should be comfortable as long as he doesn't make any mistakes, but we've seen quite a few here in Spoon today. Yeah, I think right now you can see on that track map go, as they go through Spoon, you can see that's the number one. And he's the number 10 car. Now he's got a good exit out of Spoon. I don't quite think there's too much Andy could do here. Unless Andy's got to be very bold and brave for the final couple of corners. Last of the late breakers, Daniel Ricciardo, ex-Daniel ex Ricciardo style when he was in the Red Bull. I think it's going to be enough, is it? And if Andy does, he might realise it's going to be game over. And you don't want to lose a crucial P2 place, do you? No. So Aiden will hold him off, mate. Yeah, Aiden's going to have that. Good drive. Good win. Deserves that. Close for P2 as well. And he's actually taken the fast lap on the final tour of the circuit. Yeah, I wanted to see his face. I do have a face cam here somewhere. Apologies for scrolling through these. i got to figure out where it is. It's around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's just people spinning across the grid for fun. Ah, oh, I'm not going to find it. Let's not worry about it right now. <laughs> well, there he is. He's done it. How's that going to pan out for the weekend now? With those results. It's going to be interesting. I'm not sure if all the point system is correct for it to figure it out. Really oh, unfortunate no. for the Australian driver, Liam, isn't it? Just yeah, it's a terrible weekend for him, so I it's not fun. Well, luckily, as he will get the points, obviously, for P8, so he will pick up some nice points. But yeah, it's not as well, which he was really would have wanted. I'm watching burnouts yeah, right now. Burnouts, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's a good, he'll be happy about it. Good result for Aiden. Two different winners today, then. Very well deserved. Dominated race two. Defended well. Didn't crack on under pressure. how you do it as how you do it we get those results come up in a second for our yeah, second for race dennis just to finish after he had contact in lap turn one just forced him basically out of this one but he will pick up p7 in the end he couldn't avoid spinning spinning william turn, turn one he's got lots of uh, lots of uh, exposure for his livery there for the ref sport Nice. That's very nice. Still bring the car home. You always bring the car home, I say. Regardless of where you are. Oh, yeah. Always. Always give it a go. Points, always points. You never know. Still gets points. Nice purple helmet. And does he get the fast lap? No, he doesn't. Four thousand per second. He has to stay behind. So. Absolutely. So, I just realized I have a little black bar at the bottom there. That's something I was adding earlier, so I'll sort that out 
in the future. As the results are, are in for you to go over there, my friend Wes. The results then. Here we got. We got Aiden takes P1 on race number two of the day. Hmm. P2 go. for Anders Jackman. Samuel takes P3. Paulo takes P4. Leon P5. Six place for Carlos. P7 for Dennis. P8 for Liam. And P9 for William. There you have it. So, obviously, guys, I don't have a pause screen. I, do, I just realized I don't have a pause screen. Because we need to pause the stream because we need to get ready for the... Yeah. Oh, they're going to have if... a great time listening to us then. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they're going to be looking at. But, uh... True, true, true. I'll tell you what, I'll probably just put up an interviews screen. How's that sound? Even though we're not doing any interviews at the moment because we're going to get ready for the next year. Hey, I'll just put that up there. Yeah. Oop, not even that one's not even really good. But a starting soon screen? Don't want that one either, because that was oh, the 24 hour Le Mans. Oh. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't usually, I'm not usually streaming, so. <clears throat> it is what it is. What are they? Do I have a be right back? Oh, I do have a be right back. There it is. Oh, it's with the be old be right. logo. Oh, I do apologize. It's a very oh, old we, one. Oh, we will be right back. Yeah, yeah. We'll be going to mute ourselves. Yeah. Go, don't go away, guys.
Hello and welcome back to the Antistool, this time, Antistool Racing F3 Series. Here for two minute, two races of 20 minutes for at Suzuka for round number three of the season. Last time it was quite action if I remember rightly. Yeah, I believe it was. It was, this car was very difficult actually going to the second race. There was a, uh, I had a bit of car news, so I watched a car do a nice little loop for you. That's rally crossing for you. Uh, yeah, he, uh, that was... Bit of carnage, I believe, at lap one in the Formula 3 series last time out in race two. They're just finishing up practice now before they go into their qualifying for sorting the grid out for race one of today. Just got to reload SDK and I'll be all be good. But yeah, so just getting set and ready. Is the replay button now in the middle of the screen? Oh, look at this. Things look nice. Nice and new for me. Yeah, my apologies. It's bucketing down rain here again. That's not bucketing oh, down I rain at Suzuka. It. Oh, yeah. Wow. It, it, it's This is why I haven't had a chance to go outside and do anything today. It's yeah, the rainy that season. Sounds, that sounds like you've got. Oh, this um, is still light. It's going to get heavier. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's. Yeah, that like, sounds like you're in a storm, that. Eh, that's just the, the regular. I'm in a volcano, mate, and it rains a lot here. So, we have uh, lone qualifying up to occur right now, mate. Just starting off now as I fight with the SDK to give me not the broadcast, I've got the commentator stuff, but no way. Okay. Yeah, there you go, lovely. There we go, now to see what you can see. Oh, look at all that. That's all nice and new. Yep, I can see Kevin's name. I know it's yep. Kevin that we're on board with. Oh, I'm going to turn the logo off up because it's uh, the photo. It's a little bit big because I've increased it. I'll work on all that stuff later. But now we can get to see who you're on board with, which is the key. Yes, yeah. absolutely fantastic. Eight minutes of qualifying, lone qualifying. Ooh! And there goes Kevin immediately. Yeah. And he's stuck in the gravel now. Nope, it's a sim and he's out. But he would have been out, I'd say. So we can see some interesting... We've still got some drivers, of course, from... Do we have any, any drivers from the previous... We do, Paulo yes. is out there, Leon's out, uh, as as well, as we've got some of the... And Carlos is here. Aiden. As well, so they've swapped themselves, mate, out of the uh, F4 cars into the F3 cars. Yeah, it's a thing that in the last season wasn't allowed, but this season is, so we do see a lot of um, mix of Formula 3 and Formula 4 now. So, uh, and they yeah. are, I'm speaking to the SDK overload, overloading guys too, there for um, that we use. And uh, I was speaking to one of the developers before. He's gonna he's gonna add. So when we're on board with a driver like this, he's gonna show you all the sector times and stuff like that that are focused on that driver. So that's something that'll be coming. Which would be cool. That's nice. It'll yeah. be nice to be able to see what um, if what actual times they are doing, because then I'll be able to work out what time lap sectors are good if they're actually doing well or not. Because purple and green are all good, but hah, they lie sometimes. As they all get to start their first laps about now. Now, yeah, uh, who, be... who you want to go on board with? Because I think it's Aiden, right? One of the first I ones. I think Aiden is yeah. first. All right. Yeah, everybody else seems like so... they just. Finishing there. Let's go on board from his perspective, mate, and you tell us how it feels to drive around Suzuka. Well, sadly, not in a free car, I haven't done it before, but I can tell you it's probably pretty quick. A little bit different to the Formula 4, a little bit more downforce, uh, they can take corners a bit faster, but it is very snatchy on the brakes. This you've got to be very careful. It does seem like the rear happens a lot. We see drivers they snatch a rear brake, so you don't really want to be on any of those curbs or white lines on the exits entrances to corners even on the exit as well i've seen a lot of cars spin on the power they've got so much as he goes into the hairpin see how he goes down the gears nicely through kisses the apex uses the exit curb as well wants the car straight does he keep a tight line here quite tight now he goes a little bit wide does use it on the road to the middle kisses the outside comes back across to the next curb now spoon that was a difficult corner in the f4 cars how difficult is in the f3 cars Quite low to the floor, it seems very smooth, a little twitch there, maybe turning a little too early to the second one. Power down on the kerb, doesn't want to touch that for too long, it seems fine. Being very cautious on the brakes, one for the R's, definitely going to be a flat out corner, but I wonder how much exit kerb they will use, because that kerb can spin you. Does he use any of the entrance? He does kiss it, but not on the exit of the kerb. Put it in the middle of the road, now the brakes. Brakes nicely down the gears, turns in. Low, no slow movements, not too uh, feisty of the car. It will kick you if you are too aggressive with it. As he comes to the line, he is the first to set a time. What does he do? A 154.6? Oh, am I wrong? It didn't seem to 
count his time. He, he must have been an off track. Yeah, it must have been an off track. How about uh, Andy has set a time. Should pop up there right now, 153. What about Enzo in the Red Bull livery? Oh, I think he's be him. I think it's not. He has. There you go, 52.8. Liam now. And oh, Liam's <laughs> taking him. Yeah, Liam's back. Guess who's back, my friend? Liam's Liam? back. William's taking that one. Wow, he's, he's close. What about Paulo Lopez? We know that he's been coming off pretty good. Well, first round, obviously in the heat in the F3 fours, and just got a bit of damage. He wants a little bit of revenge here for the Portuguese driver running the 88 car. I love his same livery, of course. Really patriotic. Goes up in a P3. Like, very close between the top four there. What about Sebastian? Now, I'm used to Sebastian here from the F1. A couple of the F1 drivers are here in the F3s. And I know Liam's pretty damn quick, and this, but this man's pretty damn quick. Sebastian as well. Enzo's quick. Paulo in the F3s. In the F1s. Now we have on our Monday evenings. At any store racing. Most cars are out there. I think the only one that's not out there is Carlos, and he's on the F1. And Carlos will start at the back for this one. Yeah, I'll show you the nice little track map that I put up there as well, mate. I shoved it right up in the in, in the right hand corner. Oh. Well out of the way and transparent as well. Look at that. You can see yeah. through it. How nice. Is and that? it shows you the car that you're looking at too, so you can see where they are on the track. Mate, we've got all the goodies coming in any store racing. And I don't think there's much of an improvement at the moment. There are personal best. What about Aiden? Aiden's gonna finally get a time in, hopefully. Let's see. Does he use a lot of exit curve there on the chicane? Let's see as he comes to line. It's not gonna be pole. Sebastian's not going to improve at all. He's going to stay sixth at best. Aiden goes seventh. And the tap man comes to the line. He's uh, now P4. Look at Liam Kerr, mate. Couple of purples in there. The Australian driver's not messing around right now. He's like, yeah, okay, I might well. have a bad race. I might have had a bad couple of races for the F4s, but I'm not it's at the moment. Pole. It's pole. Absolutely. Where's William, though? Here he comes. Is he going to make pole back? Oh, he's not. Oh, that's close. Yeah, this is actually quite interesting as well, too, because this, the, the, that man, William, has the most Australian livery he could find. <laughs> and he's from the States. <laughs> what about Aiden? That <laughs> is quality done, because Aiden's done two times, mm. so he won't get another in. Uh, Mateo didn't get a time in. Theo's out there on track, but he's already done two laps, so that's that done. Carlos isn't out there, so yeah. A minute to go in qualifying, but all the times are basically done, and we do have the top nine at least. I think Mateo will take 10th, so 12 cars will take to the grid for heat number one. And yeah, very close qualifying there. As top soon as those results come up in a second there, so we can pull that up there to show you guys, of course, what the grid will be. I yeah, like mate, you wait, till, uh, you wait till Gerald that's getting on, on his holidays, mate. Gerald uh, can't be here this evening because he's uh, working. Putting on a, a, a magical uh, stage performance show. That he'll be uh, do all your producing, all the fantastic lighting and sound. Yeah. And, uh, well, he's going to get uh, some time off soon, mate. And that means you're going to get to see him work on some magic for Eddie Store Racing. So expect to see some pretty cool stuff coming in the next month or so, you know, during August. Oh. Uh. Wait for that. I'm I'm happy with how this looks. I'm loving it. There's little colours as well on the uh, under people's names as well, so I get to just look at colours and colour code things, which is nice. Yeah, I could put up the car numbers next to it, but I think they're pretty good. We there's a yeah. small grid, it makes it pretty easy. I like how Aiden's just just completely used a different racing number of. Uh, he's elected to go. Oh, I like the 427. Yeah, we're not, wow. we're not, yeah. not going to have 427 drivers in here. I actually realised too the other day, and I think, yeah, here we go, mate. The grid's up. There it is then. Liam does take pole. Only just five hundredths of a second to William. Or if you want to be precise, it is four hundredths and nine thousandths of a second. So, yeah, between the top two. They do have a bit of a gap back, though, to Paulo. Tevin's 10th, tenth, Stone Andy, Tapman and P4. Enzo, P5. Kevin, P6. Leon, P7. It's quite close between those lot of cars there in the midfield, I'd say. Sebastian P8 only did one run. Aiden only got one time in, but does get P9. Carlos didn't get a time in. He gets P10. Theo gets P11. And Mateo gets P12. Absolutely. And they're going to start gridding up right now. And we can have a look at our grid pole oh, man there. Look at that. Mr. Aiden. 
G'day, g'day. Oh, I've always wanted to be able to use this <laughs> camera. We found, we saw it when you sent it, and I was like, oh, look at the helmet, too. Look at all this. And it has to be a Red Bull car, doesn't it? It looks stunning. I don't know about on your yeah. camera, but yeah, the no, quality it... of that car. Look at the tyres. Yeah. That looks absolutely fantastic. All right, man. Oh, the grid. Here we go. This is fantastic. Here we go. The lights are coming on. This is great. Let's hope it's a good race. The lights are out. Here we go. Who gets a good start? It's a good start for P2. William trying to defend immediately. He does, but he's lost it. William's going to have that into P1 in turn one. He's just ahead. They're side by side. Liam's got on the grass trying to keep it, but William is through. Everybody else seems fine. Pablo could try and get... Pablo? Paulo could try and get P2. Where's Liam gone? There he is. He's back. And Andy Tapman's trying to get Kevin. He's not going to get him. Kevin's going to stay in P4. Oh, no, touch it. There goes Andy Tapman on the road. There's a tile somewhere. Does he hit it? No. Does he hit anyone on the way back? Oh, he oh. does. Who's he collected? Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't know who's collected. Theo. I think he collected Theo. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's a front wing gone there. Kevin also had a spin after the contact. But everybody else survives. But those three didn't. Aiden Young didn't start the race. And no, did Carlos, apparently. Uh, they're in the pits. I don't know if they had damage with each other before, but they're in the pits anyway, so I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, yeah, top 10 continue, but I'd say 7 survive at all. Bit of Mateo's a got there. no front wing there, yep. Oh, there <laughs> would have been a crash then, I assume, if Mateo's also got lots of front wings. Yeah, a bit of chaos near, closer to the rear of the field, but the front lock got away cleanly. As Liam again disappears and comes back, he didn't have these connection issues in the F4 race. But he's from Australia, yeah. mate. There's a little bit yeah. for, for that signal to travel. Oh, Trust me, when it's I, raining, when so... I, when I, no, no, I'm in Panama. But yeah, uh, yeah, it rains here, Panama. It doesn't rain in Australia very often. Looks like Kevin's uh, Kevin, crashed as Kevin's well. Kevin's crashed out. Uh, he definitely may have had damage after he went off the road. So he's yeah. out, and so is Andy, and so is Aiden, and so is Carlos. Oh, and there's a car, there's, that's Theo. Where's he going? Sorry, it's not. It's Enzo. I got the brothers mixed up. He's across yeah. the grass. Um, he has survived, but yeah, he's uh, lost some time there and needs a new front left tyre. Is he going to lose place there? To Leon, to maybe. Leon, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah, there's a look. No, Leon backs out. He decides better on that one. Are oh, they going to keep us busy at those replays again? So what was that, that major one at the start there? Was Kevin? Was it Andy? Oh, Kevin, oh, Kevin no. and Andy had contact uh, midway through that one. But, but I don't know what happened that, to Mateo. Wasn't it Carlos that crashed as, as well, I think, earlier? Did Carlos and Aiden crash or did they just not start the race? Let's have a look. Like may... We'll get back for the replay of that one. Oh, oh, that. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, at, oh that's chaotic. Yeah. Hey, the, the new yeah. logo is working, mate. Fantastic. That looks fantastic, yeah. yeah. That looks Let's get great. back to live. Thank you very much, Kevin, for that. Who's racing? So let's go on board. Well, we, oh, should we should we use the replay to watch him crash? How, <laughs> yeah, how yeah, terribly yeah. ironic. Yeah, we should actually. We should. There's Kevin. Oh, Kevin, so mate. This. this one's for you. <laughs> oh, this is great. Let's see how well this goes down, man. I'm sorry, Kevin. Um, but it's a solo. Well it's a solo one too. Is that because of the damage he had? Oh, he's yeah. Looking crabbing. It's crabbing. It, the car's ah. crab. The yeah, rear there right is. there is not pointing the same way as the rest of the tyres. All right, sorry, Kev. There we go. That was for you. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks good. It actually it, I, I, that's what oh, I was trying yeah, to work no. on. Remember in the break, and, and I did, it did yeah. come up, but it did. Oh yeah, fantastic! It great. So William leading from Liam Polo. Now Liam's actually having. Hopefully, hopefully he can make this uh, commit this for the another 17 or so minutes because. He needs a good result here. He's been having great results. And, oh, what's he done? Oh, that's, that, that must be a, de a lag issue because it looked like he just yeah, slapped the wall yeah. there, mate. Yeah, he's having some connection <laughs> uh, problems. But, yeah, as you said it, um, I'd be careful with, if I was him now. He's got to be a bit cautious now that we've talked about him. As he goes through turn one, okay. He's nine tenths behind William, which did well to get there. There is a back marker just ahead. Uh, I think Andy Tatman has come out of the pits. Well, maybe it's Mateo. One of the two is just coming out of the pits, just ahead of them. Oh yeah, I put the track map up, uh, thank you for that. I forgot about that. And the yeah. Tatman. Uh, it is, and the Tatman just ahead. It's all in orange, but yeah, two cars out then. So but now we know what happened to Aiden and Carlos in that one. They got squeezed in a freeway fight and, you know, it all ended off in the gravel and in the wall. But that's what happens, that's turn one at Suzuka for you. It uh, happens like that. 
Yeah, we'll have a look at Enzo's oh. crash that he had. Oh, is that just going a little wide? No, we'll have a look at Enzo's crash that he oh, had. Oh, Here we go, Enzo, it? then. Here's his... Ah, oh, him going deep, this will be. Let's see what he does, mm. then. Do you know what? This is what I'm talking about during qualifying with... Uh, on the... Oh, he's... There's going to be the brakes here. He's going to snatch a brake very easily. And just... No, yeah. Yeah, stop it. Front right, and he just couldn't... He did well to avoid. Yeah, yeah. he went straight through. Great, great. Yeah, because otherwise he could have slept in the back of Polo, and that would have destroyed both of their races. So, but once again, we've seen some fantastic sportsmanship between these, these gladiators, mate, because we saw that early, didn't we? During yes, the, yeah, yeah, with uh, um, Aiden and Dennis. Okay, a little incident at the end of the race. Nice, nice for the faces were given back. Uh, Andy Tapman getting lapped now, but getting out of everybody's You know, you know the camera way. I like right now? Oh, this camera oh, coming up in a there. second. The speed camera. See, this is the great thing about iRacing. Here we go. You want to feel like a car's driving over top of you, mate? Here it is. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to lay in the road anymore. Oh. There we go. You can well, see. Yeah. There's one. One ran us over at least. And we'll go back further, but Liam is looking pretty spicy right now. Liam has caught back up to William here. 15 minutes to go, boy, and all the races. And how difficult is, is that there, Wes? Like, after, you know, some of the drivers here have obviously been doing the F4s, and now they're going to jump into the F3 cars. And I'd say it's quite difficult, because I think they're quite, from watching them, they seem like they drive differently. Yeah, because uh, all of a sudden your braking points are all completely different than what they were before. you got a bit more of a beast. It handles differently. You're jumping in one yeah. car to another. With no practice, Breaks really. It's short practice. Yeah, you got, well, they got two, maybe they got a couple of minutes to get... They got their qualifying, really, to get used to it, which could be why you see so many off tracks it's just drivers trying to get reused to the differences in the cars uh you know completely different performance in the day the f3 f4 cars uh, yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, drivers do it well Maddo's crashed to think let's go back to that now actually we'll keep an eye on this one because liam still polo's hanging in there at the moment just on that cusp of that one second no drs of course is enabled and sorry, the cameras keep going in and out because of Liam's connection, so yeah. I might have to probably focus on William a little bit more here. Yeah. He's breaking later. He's breaking later, but that can also yeah. mean he might snatch a break, as we saw the other Red Bull live read car do earlier. He has a little... Look at the slipstream there, down the back straight. Look how close he is now. After yeah. 130, oh, he's going to look to the inside, goes to the outside as William defends nicely. Covers the line. William this time breaks later. Is he going to make the corner? He makes the apex lovely, but Liam will get an exit here. He got a little bit of a slide on. Traction's a bit difficult to find, but there's so much slipstream and the advantages. Watch this, ready. Now he's in it, and it's engaged. Here we go. Slingshot to the inside. William goes, covers it off. Liam goes to the outside. He comes in and out, but he's there. To the outside. He should be past William before turn one. And he is through. Job done. Cool. Huh. Maybe. It will bring Polo into, into, into play here. Let's go back to the Portuguese driver. He can see this. It's going to be very difficult. I was just wondering sometimes what William was thinking when he's looking at his mirrors going, is uh, Liam a uh, vampire? Because he's just... I can't see him in the mirrors. He's, he's obviously appearing and reappearing on the track because of the uh, connection issues. It will be difficult to follow. It will be very he's difficult to him. race against as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to feel uneasy about following him. Um, might be on the radio saying he can't see him. That's why the timing table at the well, moment... Why a mistake for Paulo? Paulo's off the road behind. Where's oh, yeah, he, he is. Oh, well, he's done well to not hit anybody. Uh, Sebastian's through into P3. He had a bit caught too much of the curb in the first... Um, I don't even know what those corners are called now. I should know them. I can't it's called. It's, it's going to massive oh. pressure from Enzo now because of that. Once he gets the tyres clean, get all the the dust off him. Get your fed the dust throughout there and give him a bit of a, scra a scrape. A bit of a dust off. Get back into it. You've only lost a little bit of pride in one position, and we know Paulo is not a man that uh, tends to, to give up easily at all. He'll, yeah. he'll bring that car home, even if it's peak 150. If there's 150 races, he'll still do it. And yeah, you, you see the timing table changing at the moment, guys. That's just because Liam's connection's just fooling the system. It's thinking he's there, he's not. So he is still leading this race. Enzo now, yeah, mate. Look at this. Counting. The Frenchman. Enzo's on him. He's on him. Hopefully, he's finally won't miss the brakes. He's brake nicely there. Quite comfortable. See how well of an exit he gets. Yeah, a little bit of a twitch, but here we go. He'll be in the slipstream and it will engage in a few seconds. Here we go. And now, look at this. Look at the gain. 
on the side. Did he stay in it long enough though? Chris side was on the third one. Ooh, wow, that's yeah. nice. He's got it. No, he's not. If he was a bit more aggressive, yeah. he could have it. Yeah, lovely. Get the power lovely down, aren't you? Side. When you're racing line, but then again, you can see a little bit of a break, a little bit of a lift off there from Paulo. Yeah, it's good racing there. Paulo concedes another place, ends up to P4 after the mistake early on. As well, clean move around the outside of turn one, brave move. Uh, so, a couple of the incidents I have. Yeah. As a quarter of William, pretty oh, he has actually five good call. Off, so yeah. That's quite. He's getting into the play now. William's dropping off Liam. A little bit of a motivation, I'd have to say, there from the old Sebastian. Look at that. That name fits in there, too. Sebastian Van der. Can you, can you, can you pronounce his full name? Uh, Sebastian Van der Hurdle. And Hurdle, I think it is. I think it's Hurdle. Yeah, I've heard it a few. He must, have, he must have a problem filling out those forms and stuff like that, you know, when you go through customs and stuff like that. You know, when it's, you know, enough room on the cards to put your name well, he's, in. He's got a lot of E's and a lot of A's in his names. So, you look at his. Sebastian's got a few A's, uh, a few E's, and Hurdle, and then. He's got a few, a few letters just to throw in. You wouldn't want to play Hangman, with him, would you? <laughs> exactly. And uh, yeah, one of at, at school, he's one of the last ones to get called. Then he gave you in the Netherlands. You'd be a lot of people starting with bees, wouldn't they, for their surnames? Yeah, there's probably a lot of Van Dens <laughs> in the yeah. Netherlands. I must say, I've seen that uh, the uh, Holland flag a lot. I have never really, yeah. didn't really see it often. These days, oh, you see that flag a lot these days. Oh, yeah, I keep saying this. Now, I've said this because I've lived in racing. I lived in, Am in, in lived in Amsterdam. I lived in um, Singtel, just down the road from the Anne Frank Museum. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city. I love it. My second favorite city. And um, well, the flag used to have orange in it, you know, because the orange is actually represented part of Holland, because the yeah. country's Netherlands, yeah. and that's like yes. a royal color. Well, they used to have uh, orange in the flag, but because it, they obviously back in the day they didn't have the dyes and it would fade. Yes. I think I've told you this before, and now, and now they use red, and, I, and I've, I've said to everybody who was in the office, working in the office, I was like, why don't you guys change it back to orange now? Because we have the technology. They're like, oh, yeah. maybe, that's not a bad idea. I'm like, well, it's not. anyway. Hey, it's just the French flag yeah. on the wrong way. Yeah. But yeah, I see it a lot more these days. I never, you never really used to see it, but I, I run into a lot more people from the Netherlands these days. And feel, I'm not sure if their technology got better or they got, or richer or something to happen, but they suddenly are now exist in the world. Um, Motorsports mate, like, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, it many is. thanks to obviously Max Verstappen bringing the Netherlands back on motor racing. They've had, you know, Dutch drivers in the past, but no, never with the, recently with the support. It was, just, it was the same thing, wasn't it? With uh, Fernando Alonso and how Spain started booming a lot more into Formula One. Yeah. And then everybody, just like Brazil, everybody in Brazil thought yeah. they were fantastic drivers, but just because of Senna. But uh, if they're now, they're not. Brazil's always uh, been a national sport, isn't it? I mean, they're a great football yeah, team. It's just, it's just, of course, you have a massive population. You can. What's happened here? Andy's gone off track and gone in the pit lane. Let's have a look at Andy. Let's go back for the replay. Yes. What happened to Andy? Oh, too much curb. I think. Oh. It, There's somebody went on. It looks like somebody was so struggling. But, oh, that's a big. Oh. Yeah, that's yes. what. Oh, that's that's out. That's retirement, isn't it? He snatched a break. Liam Kerr's crashed. crashed. <laughs> What happened here? The leader. Is he, oh, is he going to touch the code? What's he done? This is his uh, code coming in and out as well, too, because of his connection. Do you think that might be one of the problems? I'd like to see if we can speak to him. Yeah, oh, he just oh. dropped it on the curve. Has anybody Everybody gone around safety? Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. He got out of the way. Lovely. Carlos has crashed, so we have a few little incidents happening. Has he come back on? Oh, oh it was a little close. What's happened to Carlos here? I think Carlos is by himself here. In the, Minard, the Minardi pink. It's a Minardi pink car. It is a Minardi car. Yeah, that's right. They used is to be going to drop it on the exit, I think. That'll be it. Looks like a little bit of a late break here. Uh, oh, no. He's, oh, no, he's backed blue. off. Okay. Back to the action. And the action it is. Sebastian's leading. He's gotten past William at some point. Oh, and round goes. Liam. Liam threw down. Liam is round. He's spun his own. And there is a missing front wing there. He's under the bridge too, I can't see him. He's hiding from the helicopter. All right, further back, but William's putting some pressure on Sebastian. Now this Texan driver's been pretty punchy this evening. Wants to win some races, mate. He certainly will, can. Once again, he's in that Australian livery, green and gold. 
So yeah, just after just after Liam spun the first time is when Sebastian passed William for the lead, probably down in turn one, I reckon. He probably got a really good run after William may have backed off to avoid a spun Aussie. There's two battles as well to get back to Polo. He's putting the pressure oh, right now on Enzo. He's going for that, he's going for that. There's no way he's not. Ah, oh, he's back to that. Oh, surprised. Very surprised. Oh, oh a big snatch of the break there. Enzo ahead, but survives. Who's closer than who? Is William going to run down two temps? He's off. Is he close enough? William's getting close. Not close enough. There's a defence a bit late there from Sebastian, but it's fine. Sort of unsettles him for the corner, I must say, doing it that way. But, uh, yeah, he's got a bad exit because of that. William's going to be right on him for the rest of the circuit now. Got to follow, to go. follow anyway, through to the go. real classic S's in modern day Formula oh, 1 is. cars tracks. Not like what they try to simulate these days. These are the real S's, like your, obviously your Silverstone S's. It's a classic. This is a motorbike track, but remember, built for Honda here in Suzuka. It was a Honda test track. Just like, you know, in, uh, in Italy, you have a couple of Ferrari test tracks. Ooh, close there from Splashing, well held. I love the shine. I love the shine off his uh, off his uh, you look at the front nose when he, the sun hits it, mate. It's beautiful. I'm trying to get more graphics out of this game. Look at that. Whoa. Coming to mind you as well. I don't think I have the exact same tab of camera as you there. I have oh. the on. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I see. You know. Have you changed the settings because you have it further back so you can see the helmet? That looks absolutely oh, fantastic. Oh, I might have. I might have, yeah. That's probably what it is. Yeah. I might have modified it. However you've done that, I want that because my view is a little not as nowhere near as good as that camera. Well. That remind me to send it to you after yeah. the race, my friend. Yeah, you just smashed four, four minutes, three minutes or so. Was there? Did, um, did... Liam. Yeah. Liam has gone off track and come back on. I just got confused. Sorry, I got confused. I was like... Liam's not having a very good day today for the Australian. Let's have a look. He qualifies. He puts the car right up where he needs to do. Yeah, so... Okay. And, oh, that's, just, that's where he smashed that there before. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's spinning it back but there's around a recent too. one here. Oh, oh, yeah, he's trying to get oh, back to the pit lane. My, he's got my front wing and he's yeah. smashing brakes. I've just watched. Oh, Polo got past, I think. Polo did get past. Let's have a look. Wait. Oh, he's right. spinning. Is, that, is he spinning there? Was, yeah, he's going to, isn't he? On the exit. Round he goes, yeah. Round the Red Bull car yeah. goes. Off he goes, yeah. And that was, yeah. And that Enzo was, uh, round. yeah, Enzo, right there, look. Let's go back further and see what happened. Sorry, I'm, I'm throwing this camera around left or right. Look at that, he's overcorrected, I think. Yeah, there. Yeah, I, I just saw um, Sebastian, which is leading. Down the back straight for 130R, he pulled off into the support category pit lane, oh. smashed through some tire walls, had zero, no tires on the right-hand side of his car and came back on the road. He did? I watched it back on the stream. Yeah, okay, yeah I watched on the stream. Then I watched it back on the stream just to double check I wasn't losing it. He might do it again. So if you want to stay on board with Sebastian here, I want to see if he does it again. Obviously, the damage repaired itself because I guess it believes that it didn't happen off track or something. But he definitely did it. He definitely went through his... I'm not, I'm not losing it. He definitely went through his... I'm not seeing any off track messages wall. at all. So I'm just curious. I, right, in a second, down the yeah. straight, he, he's either going to do it or you'll see what I mean by there's a little hole in the wall where the support category pit stop it, the pit lane is. And there's some tire wall and he might just smash through it. Let's see. Ooh. Just to the right there. He'd be on report if he's trying to take shortcuts, mate. Be on camera. He went through there. He went through oh, there. Oh, really? He came out of there. Honestly, he did it. It's on the stream. I'm telling you, he did that. I got nothing for you. I wow. saw it do it and I just thought it was called Bug. Watched it back on the stream and it did the same thing. So... I think Enzo's Chaos. gone off track again too, mate, because he's got... Uh, unless that was a little bit early, when was that? Was that earlier? Let's have a look. Yeah, no, that was... Yeah, that's the one where I think we saw that Paulo Lopez gets past him. No, Leon does. Yeah, that, no, we saw that one before. Oh, my apologies. Enzo is going to enjoy watching that back for the fourth time. He's going to rub that one in. He's not going to do like watching back Kevin spin. Um, yeah, we've probably annoyed a few drivers today by using the, <laughs> the <Yeah>. replays. <laughs> Look, here's some of your worst moments. Let's rewatch them again, just for yeah. Oh, well, what you do, what you do, mate, is you is you put them, you, you compile them all, put them on a memory stick, and send it to them on their birthday. Yeah. Here's your birthday oh, present. Yeah. Open and I put it in the computer. There you go. I, I'm, I'm currently doing that at the moment. <laughs> in, uh, in real life, I'm currently I've spun now twice. 
So at the moment, I'm slowly getting footage, so on my birthday, someone can send me just videos of myself. As long as, as, long as you're not damaging the vehicle, mate, that's the main uh, thing, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess both times I've spun, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, you put that Luckily. thing in a fence, you're like, oh, I've got a bit of repair work to do. Yeah, I've got some at the moment, but that's from other cars. Enzo's looking pretty Honestly. pacey, but this is pretty much the last lap. I don't think Enzo could do anything about yeah. Leon right now. He has to, but it's too far back, I'd say. I wonder if Sebastian will do it this time. It's his last lap. He yeah, might do let's it go back to Sebastian. We'll give him a little bit of screen time there because he's got the Any Store Racing course. If you want to be racing, go to Any Store Racing. Sign up. Hit the button. Join the Discord. A great bunch of guys. Always here to help me when it comes to broadcasting, for sure. Yeah. I'd have to say the best league on the planet that when it comes to support so if you want to even if you're not a driver and you want to do some casting and stuff like that these are the boys these are the lads and they're, they're the community that, that will always take time out to help i mean kevin was racing before mate and what did he do send me that graphic for the uh, replay he did that in between his little in between his racing there you go then Sebastian will take heat one today in the formula three series good win for him well uh, william will take p2 P3, that's a good result for him in the end. That's good. This is PB lap on the final one as well. Leon will take P4. Enzo P5, pretty close at the end there. Theo will come round in about nine seconds time and take P6. It's a mix of races for a few cars. Liam will end up P7 in the end after having a miserable time so far today. He's really going to want to forget this, but sorry if you're watching it back, Liam, but you've had a ha you've had a horrible time. <laughs> Uh, Beanie. Will he will finish. <laughs> ah, you know the truth. Yeah. Well, well here in Japan, mate. Yep, we're uh, nearly all people live in cities, and uh, there's a vending machine for practically every person on the planet in, in Japan. And those trains, mate, in Japan. I've ever been there. I've been to Japan a no. couple of times. Those things had really, on average, a delay probably about 15 seconds on average, max. Crazy. Countrywide. Now, you'd probably be able to be talking to British Rail about that one, wouldn't you? Go, why can't you guys do that? Well, I haven't got the train since I was in school. So, there was this train strike the other day. Didn't affect my life at all. There was loads of people complaining. Do you know what I say to them? I learn how to drive. Very simple. So, we should get our results up coming up in a second here for our first, here it is, our first heat results. And let's have a look. So, Sebastian then takes. Race number one of the day for the Formula 3 Series. William takes P2 power. Paulo P3, Leon P4, P5 for Enzo, P6 for his brothers. Theo, P7 for Liam. Everybody else didn't finish. Mateo in P8, Andy P9, Carlos P10. Kevin P11, Aiden P12. The top eight get reversed as well. Mateo will be on pole for this next one. So uh, Liam will start second. So here we go then. They are lining up on said grid. Look at this. You want the grid pole? There is. There. There's, there's oh. Sebastian. Less circuit. Well, this should be <laughs> Mateo. <laughs> which is... Oh, look at that. It's a lot. Oh, Here sorry, we go. It then. On the grid. This is great. Five lights. Here we go. Race number two of the night for Formula 3. That's a bad start for Liam. Theo's going to have him immediately. Sorry, Enzo. I think it might be that's going to have him. Oh, is it? No, I'm right. It's going to be Theo that's going to... No, it's Enzo, isn't it? That's going to have him the free wide. It's turn one. There's still free wide. Is the car off? Trying to keep it free wide. It was Theo and Enzo. They both of them had Liam. Oh, I was right and wrong at the same time. Everybody seems like they survived this time. They're still side by side there in the car off. Paulo's off. Pierre Carlos has spun and taken Andy Tapman out Oof. with him. That's unfortunate. Well avoided by Leon. But Carlos and Andy Tapman are out of this one. Already less cars than before. Carlos has had a horrible day in the Formula 3 series. Same with Andy. And that's oh. a big bye by Liam. Well avoided. No, sorry, it's Enzo, not Liam. I get that. I'm sorry, mistaken there. Well avoided by Paulo and Sebastian. I think Enzo's kept it all in one piece. But yeah, of course, further down the field now, Mateo still leads the way with Theo and Liam behind him. Here goes Theo. He's not waiting for anything. Up the inside he goes. He doesn't need a train. Through he goes. Mateo retains P2 for now, but Liam's on him. Yeah, I just, I can't, unfortunately, I can't show the camera of Liam because he keeps cutting in and out. So we'll just see how it is from Mateo. And Liam's going to try and go now. Oh, no, I don't know if that was contact Ooh. there. It might have been net code, but that's race over for Theo. Out of this one, that looked like more net code than anything. I feel bad for both of them there because Theo's going to be absolutely raging and 
Matteo is going to be pleading his innocence because I don't think he touched him. Sebastian now at the inside of Paulo. Matteo is doing the same thing to Liam ahead and it's through. Liam survives the 130 yard this time on the outside. As Sebastian goes through past Paulo into P3 and Liam's back on the inside of Matteo into the lead once again. I don't know how many lead changes we've had on lap one of this one. <laughs> Keeping you on your toes, mate. Yep, you can see there. But Sebastian's done a fantastic job getting five positions. And Aiden, seven positions as well. Yeah, we got a, we got more replays across to show you when we get time again for that round. Yeah. yeah. You can see th three, four, four, four drivers in the pits right now, mate. I'm not sure if anybody's really terminally damaged. Kevin's oh, crashed. Yeah, they're, they're all terminally damaged, yeah. all those, those four. And Kevin's not going to join that party. We'll get a replay of that oh, one in no, a second. There's a tap. Sebastian. Yep. He went into the back of Matteo. He's rounding in the gravel. He might have a little damage on his front wing. Wonder if he continues with that. And Aiden is ahead of William just there. Oh. And oh, oh. That was a collision on him, on somebody there as well from Aiden. Um, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened there. It's always the same. I'm sure what's happened there is... Uh, I don't know what's happened with Liam as well as Leon's jumped to the pits. Not having a yeah, clue Liam, what's Liam's going on. lost it, and that's caused somebody else to hit it. Let's get the replay real quick. See, Leon's lost it oh. here, and he's ghosted back, and look, bang! There's a collision oh, right see. there. Bang! Oh, a double. Then, uh, oh, oh that's what's happened. Yes. Oh, that's going to be. And that's that very. It's going to be very scary as well too, because he was net coding in and out. Paulo now putting pressure right now. Mateo side by side. Somewhat through. I think he's just ahead on the exit. Mateo might get a better one. I think Mateo did get the better one. Oh, it's going to be very close to 130 but down the straight. Paulo's just edging ahead. I don't think either one of these is going to give in. Already half the field are out, and they're going to stick to it. Paulo's just ahead now, Mateo. He's in second place. And to the outside he goes, but I don't think he's going to. Yeah, no, he's backed off completely there. He's bringing he William in the play. Look at this. Here's William again. He wants another race win. Get out of it here. He's going to get a good run. Here comes the slipstream engage now to the inside. Aiden goes in the pits after the damage he got from the Liam incident. So Aiden is falling out of the contention here. As around the outside, William goes. And that is move done. A little twitch in turn two, but William around the outside. Of Mateo for P2 and through he goes now to chase after Paul though. I'm just a Dutch battle occurring right now, my friend. Bastion and Between Kevin. The Ke yep. Sure the Dutch duo. On. But Kevin had a spin before as well. That I yes, saw. Yes, there's a lot, wasn't there? There was a lot going on. Well, Kevin had a kick. She said he actually crashed. Let's look at the replay real quick. What happened here? Here's the Kevstar. And that's, uh, that is uh, William up the road. Quite sure who is it. Yeah, that's that kerfuffle we saw at the start. And, uh, but what's happened yeah. for Kevin's spin here, but oh, oh yeah, fully he must have, he must have kept that defence because he's back in the race. Obviously, as you can see, yeah. belly it out. Yeah, completely lost it. Liam again has had a dreadful day mm -hmm. out in P8, and we'll have probably an incident looked at from the stewards. They really do not like unsafe rejoins. That's one thing I've noted from. Ah, Carlos beat. has just told us today, mate, out there in the chat. It's not your day today, Carlos. So, yeah, no, it is unfortunate. Yeah, he's, he's not had a good day in P in tonight. But good on you for sticking with it. We remember it's only round three, mate. We've got lots more racing to come. You have your good days and you have your bad days. And get your, get your bad days out, out of the way with, so that you'll uh, generally have more good days. That's how it works, oh, right? Mateo has touched the grass in the background. Has he kept that? He has well. That's that's. I don't know. If there's not a replay for it, but it deserved one. He touched the grass on the brakes, and he snatched all of the brakes. Like he was, so he just had to come back off them and then still slow it down for the corner in time. So, it, he made it look like nothing happened, but that was <laughs> pretty difficult for Mateo to do there. Well done to him for. It says Kev it it says Kevin's come off track somewhere as well too. Let's have a look. We're really picking on Kevin right now, aren't they, with the graphics? Well, was yeah, this? Yeah, it's all, he's had a touch of the curve another one. Yeah. Oh, it's actually showing Mateus crashed now. Let's oh, have a look. No. Was this the one where oh. you... No, this isn't it. Oh, no. What's happened here, Mateo? What have you done into Is turn this a one? big, big crash? Or... Yeah, it's high speed. Is he going to oh, be... Oh, he's lost no. the rear speed. Kind of yeah. saves it. Oh, he's just entering a drift competition, you know? Oh, but does he come back on and... 
I think Kevin gets. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh, no. Sebastian's got him. Sebastian gets around, yeah. He's lost P3 in the end. Yeah, we've seen a few of those incidents here this evening, haven't we? Where people coming back on the track, and obviously, some most of the times it's been they just, you know, momentum of the car in the wrong place at the wrong, at the wrong yeah. time. Yeah, it happens. But, uh, you know, obviously, they're trying to get out of the way, but uh, unfortunately, the car's not agreeing and it's just sliding. Well, more action packed again, mate, with now five drivers out. Liam, once again, he's just probably going to just pick up this ca his calendar right now and just cut this day out. That's it. Oh, yeah, he's this got to scrub it off, yeah. Just take it if out of your memory. Him, if I was him, I'd be like, oh, what happened to Suzuka? He'd be like, well, Suzuka, where's what? that? Yeah. I, I just don't have a clue. Go, 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 go to a, uh, go to a, what are those, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, and there's, there's people that uh, trick, you, trick your brain. What is it they called again? Um... Hypnotist, oh, hypnotist. Um, Go to a yeah, hypnotist yeah. and then say, okay, yep. 28th of July, just take it out of my memory. Unfortunately for the Australian yeah. driver. He'll bounce back. Aussies do, mate. Yeah. And if someone says Suzuka, don't let me crash. Well, Sebastian Crashing. putting some good laps in. Let's have a look at that. Let's go, well, let's go back to Sebastian and let's have a look at his sector times. We can show you because we've got plenty of time, of course, to catch up. We're eight minutes into... The second race, the feature race here this evening. So, to get 12 minutes, and <laughs> trust me, look what happened in the first couple of minutes of this race. Yeah, chaos. I think we'll go Absolutely back and have a look at some chaos. of those replays, mate, while we have a chance. Kevin's in if the pits. Can. Uh, Is he getting damage? Kevin's fixing something. Re replay? Yeah, we'll have it now. Yeah, we're getting something fixed. He's probably not happy with something's wrong. Oh, okay, it's fixed. Yeah, oh. that's fixed. That's uh, that's yeah, not fixed. That'll, fin that'll finish it off. That's... <laughs> oh, that's a that's a complete retirement. Yep, that's that's. So this is what happened. Carlos had went off track earlier. Oh, that's just completely frozen. Oh, oh that's a lovely picture though. That I've never seen that tough. before. Everything's going fantastic. everything's going pearl shaped right now, mate. There it is. Oh, well, we I'm I'm it. breaking the SDK here. Let's have a look. Okay, no, we're so supposed to be looking, we're supposed be looking at Carlos. Now, well, we saw it still. Yeah, Carlos he's here. In the foreground, so he goes off. And then he's out of control, and, and he's there. Yeah. And Ooh, he's there just one drive off. Surprised he didn't clip many. Ooh. And he had gone off track there as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, it'll be him getting a nice surprise tag. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Just an unfortunate victim of that one. And he's sitting there like, oh, what happened? Uh, how did that end up here? Yeah, not a clue. He will... No, no, he wouldn't have seen that coming at all. He yeah, wouldn't have known that see. he'd crashed until he was facing the wrong direction. Now, who's quick and who could do something about that? Sebastian. Fastest lap. 52.31. Yeah, and look at that. And see if we can shave some time here. Tooth and nail. If he wants to do anything about it, I need to fix that overload. Close, he's, isn't it? His name's too big. It covers the sector times. We'll have to talk to Sebastian about that. I've got, we'll say, we'll say, I've got Van Den in my eyes. Yes. No, when, when you see the full Van sector Den. times, yeah, I was it, it, it starts to cover a little bit of his name. It's a little left of time. Little, little tweaks we're going to find out. Long Beach will be better. He already apologised to Andy. Carlos did, and he was his bad. Yeah, mate, it's just racing incidents that happens. Yeah, nothing you could have done there. You're a passenger once you're on the grass. Uh, yeah, but thank you. Once again, we've seen great sportsmanship from these uh, gladiators this evening. As now, Williams uh, in and out of that one second range there with Paula Lopez. I keep thinking of Formula One with the DRS, but they don't have that. Long Beach should be better, mate. Yep, Long Beach should be next, I believe, there, Carlos. Not mistaken. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I like the spirit, mate. Yep, you keep focusing forward, not backwards. These track cars on a street track sound. Uh, not like a fun. I love it. I love Long Beach. It is it for it is beautiful track, mate. In iRacing, they've scanned like balconies and stuff like that. Like in scanned people's bedrooms essentially, even if they have the curtains open, trackside, the apartments and stuff. It's just it's it's so eye candy. playing with on the track 
what times are you? He's going slower, I think. Now. Oh, yeah. match Where, where's this? Is the first time they're giving us a little bit of a breather, mate. <laughs> yeah, they have. Holy. They have. Good as well. But we can go back in if you want. You can try and see the uh, incident maybe with uh, Sphinx. Theo, see Theo's one, see if it was netcode between him and Mateo at Spoon. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. One. Let's have a look. I'm going to try and look at the time, and that one was Theo, right? Theo? Yeah, Theo. Yeah, it went off track. Okay, here it is. I think it's around here. This could have been the incident with Theo earlier. Yeah. Ooh, bit of squeeze between there. What happened there? Uh, my camera's uh, sadly not enjoyed that I want to go on board with Theo here. Snatch the brake. I don't know if he got tapped. It just looked like he snatched the brake. Go back to another replay of that again. This is the same kind of angle. Yeah, oh, here we go, lovely. I don't know if it was. Um, it sounded like he got hit there, but I, from the other camera angle, it looked. Could you go on board with Matteo for that one? Okay. Is that possibly? I want to. Because we, we'll see if he hits him then. It looks though like Theo definitely got hit, but. Let's have a look from Matteo. I have to go on board. Oh. Yeah, that one before just then looked like Nick ID. If we get rewind the same that. One, yeah. Now, I'm not used to I'm not used to the rewinding stuff here, so just bear with me, guys. All right. Yeah, look here we go. Here we go. This is going to be very close. But is it netcode? Yes, it's netcode. Yeah, code. netcode. All right. That's Sorry, guys, because we're just uh, not too much of the action on track at the moment. That's why we're going back to the replays. Yeah, mate, it looks great. So I love the helmet. I got to work on these. Uh, yeah, I do have to work on these uh, re replays to get them a little bit quicker and better and the. Angles and the speed and all that jazz. Still getting used well, to it. Well, that French that looks lovely. That French, we were looking at trying to see if it was netcode, but if you watch that back, you just see this car spinning, but as well as the, his Matteo's French flag on his helmet. Love that camera angle. Really love that. Oh, let's have a look. Actually, yeah. who's that? Uh, roll bar, I think. Yeah. You say Theo? Or who do we look at? Uh, the, or Matteo. Yeah, it was a Matteo. Who has a French flag on his race helmet. Yeah, there it is. Stunning. Yeah, look at that. It's, what a what an angle that is. I know it's sadly a crash for Theo. Parfait, we would be saying. Good look. Yeah. <laughs> I might like to say that. <laughs> no, that what it means. All right. Paulo Lopez doing what Paulo Lopez does best in the lead of the race. Five minutes or so to go there, leading from William and Sebastian. Now, we thought Sebastian's been putting in some cranker laps, and he has. Do those sector times. But is he going to be enough? He's four seconds down the road. It's quite quite an ask for the Dutchman. He is closing it, but yeah, quite a bit of an ask, I'd say, in this one. Yeah, Matteo did have another crash, I think, later on, so he might have missed that one. Is that another crash? Let's have a look. So I think this is his spin to that spin. one. Can we see that French helmet again? There's one board. Yeah, we've got to watch it loop round and do some drifting. Here we go. This is how you drift a Formula 3 car, ready? Yeah. And you hit the hydro, and then, yeah. He tried to correct it, almost corrected it, but again, he kept it out of the feds. Lives to see another day. Yeah, it's still in P4, so it's still a good result. Now, what are you thinking if you're Polo? Should we go on board with our Portuguese driver? And he's got traffic coming up the road. I'm going to throw him off, of course. He's done a good job in the 88 car. Yeah, well, you, what, you're, what I'm thinking right now is all about Andy in the way. He's not in the way, obviously, but you can see him, so... You can see his steering wheel now on his camera angle, if you're getting that one up the moment. You can see what gear he's in. Uh, sadly, my camera's... You're not I getting that one. It's another camera. I can, no, I can, I can see the camera, but I can see... Uh, mine's not adjusted to how yours is with the steering wheel. I can see his tyre. Ah. But, uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually the other side of the car. Oh. Well, yeah, well, I'll you get that sorted out. Maybe you don't have the right one. <laughs> oh, you don't have the car. Sorry, you're not. Lo uh, I didn't send you the car. Oh, you is it the car? You need to load the car oh. one. That's not the track one. Oh, I can do that. Load the car one. Right now. Load the car yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if that's the case. Because it's a brilliant camera angle. You can see the steering wheel. You can see when he's shifting. His fifth gear right now. Drop it down to second. Mm. Take us through oh, the, the top yeah, of the hairpin. No, that's fixed it all. You got it? This. Yep. Yeah, I'm in love now. You can't see his mirrors, yeah. unfortunately. There's no way that we can actually have the mirrors show. Oh, we don't need to see what's behind us. What's yeah. behind you doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what Enzo Ferrari said. 
It's got a little. It's got an ejection button to the right hand side. You can see that. It pushes that button and just ejection seat. Oh yeah. That's always helpful. Traffic. Good old days of that one. What is the traffic up the road? That is P6, and that will be Andy. Yeah. Yeah, so six this. gear, mate. So that's all they go to. Top right. What's the revs? Getting up to about seven thousand. Yeah. That's why uh, here on my mini, and then I have to change gear eventually. All right. Oh, you can come down the gears. Lovely there. This Not is a great. I, 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 I should use this camera more often. I got to remember what it is. It's called the LF suspension. I need to rename these. He comes out with the dream command yeah. as he gets let through. He'll be happy yeah. with that. And he says, uh, no, "Not tough fighting you, my, my this evening, my friend. Not right now, anyway. Perhaps next week. Go wheel to wheel. Yeah, try again next week. Sebastian getting it down a little bit now, mate. Still pumping in those laps there. He's 52 point. I'm going to show you another yeah. little cool thing that I have up there. I'm going to show you right He's now. For have a look at the lap times for the driver details there. Oh, there is. See, his best lap and his last lap. Ooh. Yeah, very so. close. He has been very consistent. I must admit. And I like." Oh. Yeah, and the I, others. I will pull up. Williams had a bad one. I'll pull up the last lap times as well on the timing board to give you an idea of what people are doing. Yeah, William had a bad one last lap. Look at that. 45. 45. 55. 54. That's what I'm trying to get. And look at that's bringing in Sebastian right now. Look at that. Down with one second. He's, in, he's crunched at it. He's just committed it. It's the Dutch courage. It is the Dutch army as well, too. Sebastian wants this one. He's gained five positions as well. And now if I was William, you got to start really thinking about defensive maneuvers because you only got a couple of minutes to go. Yeah, Sebastian's on him now. There we go. This is the race to the end then. Oh, look oh there's the correction! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. I just, oh. I just went on board with him. Not the wall. No, not the wall. Sebastian, you've lost your front wing. Oh. Oh, no. Has he got no wing now? Surely. He's just driven into... Oh, he's got some. He's da well, that's damaged. Oh, I'm trying to find the right camera here. My apologies. Here it is. That's some damaged goods, that. That's second-hand eBay. That is. And he's going to approach 130R with it. Tail behind him by eight seconds, so perhaps the speed camera will show us his uh, front wing as he drives over it right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely going to have to use all of the road. Hello. Yeah, Yo, that's crumbled. Does he pit? No. Uh, you can't pit now. You have to commit to it, don't you? You got Mateo seven seconds down the road. We've got about a minute oh, left of racing. Lap. Yeah, final lap. Might yeah. as well stay out. Oh. Yeah, well. So here's Paul. William I'm... just got away with that one. And now Paulo's like, uh, yep. William four seconds down the road. William's now got breathing space. Doesn't have to worry about anything else. Yeah, he'd be happy with that. That's what he dreamed of, really. He thought he saw Sebastian in his mirrors think, well, I hope he crashes. Well, there you go. That's what he wished for. That's what he gets. His po no, oh, no, oh, that's a lot of uh, No need to be doing that. Yeah, I mean, he probably is. I mean, these guys are great racers and, and, and pretty good friends online. I have to say, like, they probably... Probably would be more wishing that they'd be wheel to wheel the whole way. Yeah. You don't oh, really want an easy, easy win, do you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wins a win. Yeah, he had to fight for it, by course, at the start of that race. Oh, all those, yeah, this yeah. has been. Five positions gained. Well. You don't get that one, though. No. Yeah, it was a crazy start to this race. He had to fight, he had to fight his way through. He had to survive. It wasn't all easy. No, not at all. It's a good win. Mateo's going off track somewhere as well. It's not like that oh, he's. Yeah. He was pushing ah. to try and catch up to Sebastian. Well, least. keep an eye on Paulo then, because that'll be it. Yeah, Paulo. He won a race in the Formula 4s. He's going to win a race in the Formula 3s as well. It's been a an average day, but with a, two wins today, it's a good day for Paulo. He's going to win at Suzuka. A comfortable <laughs> win as well by about eight seconds. So it's going to be nine by the time William gets the line. Good win for Paulo, deserves that hard win. Hard race, William takes P2. He should be happy with that. It looked like he might have lost out to Sebastian, but he decided that the wall didn't deserve to get a kiss. Sebastian takes P3 in the end, still gets a podium, even with a second-hand front wing. Go sell that one on eBay, sign it. <laughs> Matteo takes P4. Take that, I think he'll take that after starting pole in the reverse grid race. Aiden 
Uh, this time didn't get taken out turn one, but I think he did have the yeah, he did have the pit because he did crash into Liam's stranded car. So P5 Aiden, not the best Formula 3 today, but he does take a P5, so it's not too bad overall. And Attack Man is P6, you know, being lapped down. Kevin will take 7th, 8th for Liam, Theo. Leon, sorry, 9th, Theo, 10th, 11th, Enzo, and 12th, Carlos and Sudan. This has been completed, I think, by uh, and that man. Do I see anybody on Tractor and Donuts? Is it? Oh, there's not there. Uh, there was, but not anymore. Yeah. No, Race results are up, racing. my friend. Here we go, then. Oh. Sebastian. Yep. Oh, wait. oh, no, that's wait. E1. Here we go. I swapped it. There you go, feature results. Uh, Sebastian, though, P3. So, uh, Paulo takes P1 for the second race of tonight for the Formula 3s. William Pe takes P2. Sebastian, P3. Matteo, P4. Aiden, P5. Andy Tapman, a lap down. P6. And P7. Kevin, P8 for Liam. P9 for Leon. Theo, P10. Enzo, P11. Both unlucky there, as well as Carlos. Unlucky in P12. Liam's had a terrible day. If you watch this back, I have said it a few times, but you have. I apologise. Maybe next time you have some luck. You had some good... Oh, it's a complete opposite to last week for Liam. Honestly, I think he had such a great week last week at Fuji, if I remember rightly. Getting some good results there. And it's just... Ah, oh, it's just gone the opposite way today And Zuka. It's been one of those days where he couldn't... Ah, oh, it's just difficult, isn't it? Not yeah, it is. Happens. I, want a, I want a slow move for the last time there of Kevin. He's provided that fantastic graphics. And let's, uh, let's uh, I guess we have to watch Kevin crash here, don't we? in slow motion as we talk about what's the next racing coming up of course this week any store racing oh we have the oh i'm gonna just get my big book and i double check the uh the calendar but it is gt Freeze next on friday nights yeah oh, gt threes of course but what other track are they at oh i think it's hungry if i'm not wrong i'll just double check uh it is Ooh, doo -doo -doo. that's no that's formula four there it is uh it is. It's hungry on the first of July. How about that? We start the month of July well with the Hungara ring for the GT3 series, which was fantastic again at Monza. It's just so many cars, absolutely brilliant. As we watch Kevin, just oh, he's had a moment. He's had a he's had a mare there. As we watch the revs fall down, and he changes the gears. <laughs> oh, it's just nice helmet though. Oh, is that a Max Verstappen helmet? Ah, oh, probably is. It, it is. Have a look. And then he's in. Oh, he parks it in the gravel nicely though. Yeah. Oh, he meant that. Immediately, not even a second goes by before he just drives <laughs> off like nothing happened. Oh, yeah, I'm going to ring it is for, uh, for um, GT3s. And uh, I believe on that, they have Long Beach as well. But yeah, I believe the next, next week, the Formula 3 and Formula 4s have Long Beach from what Delphi and Carlos said. I don't have them written down. But, yeah, I do believe it is uh, Long Beach next week, as I can't tell a piece of paper now, for... The Formula 3 and Formula 4 series. I'll just double check actually on the Discord because that's always a good place to go if you haven't already. Go and join the, the Anti Store Racing Discord as it is Long Beach next week, the street circuit, as it mentions, for Formula 4 and Formula 3, both for the long version. I don't think there's, there is another one, but they are at the Grand Prix version. Then they have Brad's Hatch as well the week after. Wow, we got some. Serious circuits coming up in the Formula Series. I must admit that. Yeah, fantastic tracks. So that's it, mate. You want to wrap it up? Then we'll say goodbye to everybody. We're not going to do any of these, of course, because we had four different types of racing. Everybody's just uh, basically done and dusted. It's a replay right now of that uh, brilliant move that uh, we're on board with Paulo Lopez, the men of this race. Look that side-by-side -side racing. That's what you're going to expect here, mate. Yeah, great racing yeah. as always. From the drivers here in the Formula Series as well as, of course, the GT3 Series on Friday. Do watch that. That is a very close championship. Very good racing. Uh, absolutely loads of cars. Very mixed. Now is worth racing. Two pistols as well. Should be great this week at the Hungar Ring. Can't wait to see how they go. It's always very clean. Thank you very much for joining us for the Formula Series, though, on Tuesday night tonight. It was great fun. Really good racing. A few unfortunate, but, you know, it's racing that happens. Thank you very much for joining us. Here today on the Anti-Store Racing YouTube.